Lightning down power lines, causing car fires, strong winds down wires, and sparking house fires. Overnight, storms are still managing to wreak havoc in some areas while others begin trying to clean up. Plus, two suspects are in custody and a third on the run after a burglary turned into a police chase through North Houston. Details in a live report straight ahead. And a disturbance continues to churn in the Gulf. We have Elena Morales tracking the tropics for us. Live from Local 2, home of ClickToHouston.com, this is KPRC Local 2 News at 5. Just a heartbreaking loss for a Harris County family. Six people inside when their mobile home goes up in flames. Sadly, a four-year-old boy did not make it out in time. But first, we are tracking the tropics for you today as Tropical Storm Ernesto becomes the fifth named storm of the season. Good evening, I'm Dominique Soxa. I'm Bill Baez, thank you so much for joining us. This Ernesto could become a problem for us eventually. Let's get to our chief meteorologist, Frank Billingsley. Breaking news from the Atascacita area now. Medics were on the scene of a near drowning involving a child along Deer Timbers and Big Timbers Lane. Now, we're told emergency personnel, uh, by emergency personnel, that a child believed to be about two years old was pulled from a swimming pool there. New at 5 o'clock today, a Brazoria County man is behind bars, accused of shooting and killing his own father. But the investigation doesn't end there. Local 2's Nick Giovanni has details all new at 5. According to Brazoria County investigators, these signs posted for private property did little to protect Clinton Sutton Sr. with his own son believed to be the shooter. Oh, there is plenty of buzz from across the pond tonight that has nothing to do with Olympic competition. No, coming up, what Ryan Lochte's mom is saying about Ryan's love life and also Michael Phelps' possible post-Olympics gig. Plus the problem with this popular dehumidifier and others that prompted the recall and how to make sure you get a refund if you own one of these. Plus, a local teen shares his near-deadly texting and driving mistake, how he's making a difference now in saving other lives. Coming up next on Local 2 News at 5. You're watching Local 2 News at 5. Rescue crews near Litchfield, Illinois, rushed to save more than 80 passengers in a double-decker megabus that slammed into a concrete bridge support this afternoon. Chance Bodie is finally back home tonight. Now he hopes his story of survival is making a difference. Honestly, I don't remember anything. Chance Bodie is a walking miracle. In January, his truck took a nosedive off an embankment. All starts at 6.30. Owen and Lauren will give us an up-close look at the 2012 London Games tonight on the Olympic Zone. And NBC's primetime coverage for London picks up tonight at 7 right here on Local 2. We continue to be hot here, and the mm -hmm. yes. is heating up as well. Yes. Tropics are heating, heating up. Yeah, it's interesting. We're going to talk more about that. Let's get to it. Ernesto, as you know, out there in the Atlantic, moving toward the Caribbean. Here's a look at the satellite picture. And we have a consumer alert for you now. Close to 800,000 dehumidifiers are being recalled. Plus, more trouble as though they needed it for Toyota. Here's our consumer investigator, Amy Davis. Yeah, we're starting with that Toyota recall. Well, in tonight's Pump Patrol, we found regular unleaded gas for 323 with the help of GasBuddy.com. This is at the Sam's Club in Southeast Houston. The location is off of El Dorado Boulevard and the Gulf Freeway. In Pasadena, gas is 319 at the Stripe Station off of Red Bluff and Pasadena Boulevard. And it's the same price at the Sitco in Spring. That's at Kirkendall and Hollywick. If none of these locations are near you, you'll find the best prices in your neighborhood on ClickToHouston.com. Just look for the Pump Patrol under today's click. I'm Amy Davis, KPRC, Local 2. And then pretty nice skies today at the Olympics. Some partly cloudy skies. It looks like tomorrow pretty much the same. It remains cool for them around 70. Not a bad place to be. Hot for us. All right. Thank okay. you, Frank. And by the way, the NBC Night News from London is coming up next.